students now we are going to perform apparent opening size experiment for geotextile especially we can do this experiment only for woven geotextiles i will now show you what is a woven geotextile and a non woven geotextile we have seen in previous videos also what is a woven and a non woven geotextile so in woven geotextiles you can see your weft and warp in a distinguished pattern and you have a definite weaving pattern so this is a woven geotextile whereas here we have non woven geotextiles also so this is a coir geotextile which is non woven and this is an uh, synthetic geotextile uh, of non woven type so for such kind of non woven geotextile this experiment is not feasible because we are going to use or we are going to see these glass beads through the geotextile so sieving of glass beads through these geotextiles is not feasible they may go and clog the spores or uh, in between the yarns of your geotextile so this experiment is totally not feasible for non woven geotextile only for woven geotextile we perform this experiment and coming to the purpose of this size or apparent size or percentage opening size determination is that they play a major role in hydraulic conductivity of your geosynthetic material for example in case of soil we determine the void ratio of soil and indirectly we can predict whether the soil is permeable or not in the same way we can distinguish after performing this apparent opening size how much is the permeability of your or permittivity of your geosynthetic material right so for performing this experiment we are going to follow astm procedure and now i am going to use glass beads here we have a set of glass beads you can see here we have glass beads of size 0.85 mm then 0.25 mm then 0.18 mm and 0.15 mm and 0.42 mm and even we have our uh, 75 micron size glass beads are also there so instead of glass beads even you can use standard sand which are graded according to these dimensions now i am going to use glass beads only start initially we have to start performing the experiment with smaller size glass beads here i have taken my 0.075 mm glass beads which is 75 micron size glass beads so just take this one and take an empty crucible now we move on to our weighing balance find out the empty weight of your crucible 67.48 grams either you can make it to zero and then add 50 grams of 75 micron size glass beads it's almost like a flour or a white powder i could say because of its very small size so we have almost reached 50 grams with 0.0 Seven plus or minus. So take this glass beads, put it on the top of your geotextile material. See here, this almost resembles our sieve set. So there, instead of our wire mesh in the sieve we have replaced that mesh with our geotextile material right and at the bottom you have a pan so as to collect the material which is passing through the geosynthetic material and at the top layer so as to prevent the escapement of material while shaking so this is our set what am i going to do is just take this set keep it in your sieve shaker 
and uh, shake it for 10 minutes. For each glad's bead, I am going to uh, sieve it for 10 minutes. So just assemble it like this. Now we have assembled our sieves, dry sieves on our sieve shaker. So keep it like this and sieve it for 10 minutes. For each glass beads, you have to repeat this procedure. So after sieving it for 10 minutes, you have what you need to do? You have to go and check how much amount of 75 micron glass particles retain at the top of your geotextile material. Okay? So I am going to shake it. After 10 minutes of sieving, this much amount of particles are retained on our geotextile. So above our geotextile, we have taken 50 grams of uh, glass beads of 75 micron size. So out of that, 1.76 grams of particles are retained on that sieve. Now with this weight, calculate the percentage passing through the sieve and percentage of particles retained on your geotextile. Okay students, after sieving, we came to know that 1.76 grams of particles are retained above this geotextile of 75 micron size and remaining particles have passed through your geotextile, right? So it indicates that you could retain only 3.52% of particles of 75 micron C size above this geotextile, remaining all the particles are passing through. But a ASTM standard suggests that the apparent opening size of your geotextile is the particle size which could be retained around 95% at the top of your geotextile material. So here now we could retain only 3.5% of 75 micron particles. So what am I supposed to do? Go with larger size glass beads. So we here we have 0.425 mm particles. So we'll take 50 gram of 0.425 mm particle. Repeat the same procedure. Continue this procedure till you could retain somewhere around 95% of the particle at the top. Only 5% of the particles are passing through your geotextile material. That gives you apparent opening size. Thank you.